Hello, beautiful creatives. It is Michelle with Inner Journey Studios, where I help women like you be more creative and express yourself through art making. So you may have already seen me on just a few minutes earlier. I had some technical difficulties, as sometimes happens. And if I'm being honest, it was user error. So I am always learning and exploring and figuring out the tech. So I'm back. Um, so sorry about that if you were watching and I cut it off or you noticed there was no sound. Um, hopefully there is sound and volume and you can hear me now. So I am coming to you live because I am super excited to share with you about the Artsy Book Club. Um, I shared some videos last week about this and about the selection. We voted on it super loving the selection that you all chose for our book club. The way this works is um, every month I'm going to take one of the books, uh, one of the art books that I probably already own, but occasionally I might need to buy a new one. It's just the way I roll. I love my art books. But the idea is, is that I dive into them and actually use them. Because often I will get them, I'll page through. They're so beautiful, but I get overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. I don't have the focus to get through them. So what I've done is I've created this book club. And after a year hiatus, I am bringing it back to you. And every month we'll pick a book if you want to buy it and explore it or check out your library, go for it, but you don't have to. At the end of the month, I'll be sharing what I did in the book, how I'm using it in my art, and my thoughts on the book itself. And I'll be doing that live at the end of every month. So if you are watching this in April of 2023, our next one, the live I'll be doing about the book will be on April 25th at noon Eastern time. But if you are watching it any time after April 25th of 2023, um, just check on my page, Inner Journey Studios, for whenever our newest book club. We'll be doing it at the end of every month. So without further ado, today I wanted to share with you the actual Artsy um, book club guide that I've made. Um, I made this specific for myself initially to help me keep track because what happens is I open an art book, I take a look, and then I get completely overwhelmed and it goes back on my shelf and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. There's, it's, they're beautiful. There's so much inside and my brain just works so fast that it can't focus on anything. And then I do nothing. So I was like, I got to figure something out. And for me, it was making this artsy book club guide that I could fill out to help to keep my brain narrowed and focused so I could get through something. Now, I don't do the whole book in a month, not even a little bit. I just go to what looks most interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. There we go. Let me see if I can get that bigger for you. Um, hold on, let me see. Can you let me know in the comments if you can still hear me? I believe you can, but I would love to know if somebody can let me know um, that you can still hear my voice. Just comment and say, I can hear you or yes or something just so i know i think i think you can still hear me that's what happened last time as i did something and nobody could hear me so let's see i think i am still there i guess we'll find out so if you can hear me, let me know in the comments. If I don't hear from anybody, it looks like I am, my volume is still on. I am not seeing anything indicating it is not. So I'm going to assume I'm okay and let's keep going. All right. So this is the Artsy Book Club Guide and you can download this for free. If you don't have it already, just comment Artsy Guide in the comments and I will make sure you get a link for it. You can see I actually um, do a bunch of them at once. 
So I, I just go ahead and print them and then I've got them ready to go. And I keep mine in a three ring binder when I'm done. I just pop them in there so I can always go back and use them as reference. So the book we're doing in April of 2023 is Painting the Sacred Within by Faith Evans Sills and Maddie Rose McDonough. Um, it's a beautiful book. I am loving going through it so far. You can see it's absolutely gorgeous. I know I'm going fast. I'm not doing a, a page by page. I'm just giving you a quick, uh, really quick, like, boom, look at all the pretty colors and stuff. So what I like to start with is I put the title and the author just for later on so that I know what I'm looking at um, when I'm looking through this and I know where to find things. The next thing that I do is I go through the index of the book. Like I will turn to the index and I read what each chapter is about to get a feel for it. And usually I just go there. This particular book, I did go into each chapter and kind of page through to figure out which one I wanted. Um, but generally I just go through the, um, the introduction and then I look at the topics and what looks most fascinating to me. So sometimes it's art techniques or supplies. For this one, it was actually the uh, general themes of the topic matter, or the subject matter that was interesting. So I really, I love the way they do their flowers. You can see in here, I just, I've always loved the way that they have theirs. So I wanna explore that a little bit more. I'm really loving the idea of being more intentional with the focal point. So I want to check that out. The mandala section looks so interesting and soul animals. Now, the entire book looks amazing. Like, I'm not going to lie, like everything looks good. But these are the ones that jumped out the most. And this, like I said, is what I do to um, keep me on target and on focus because otherwise I get like, oh, and I can't find anything. It gets a little crazy. Um, so then what I do is what's one chapter technique or project I really want to do from this book. So for me, it was the chapter, it's called Creation as Meditation and Painting Mandalas. That's the chapter name. So that's the one that I'm really wanting to focus on. Um, let me know if you're just joining me, please say hi, feel free to in the comments. Um, let me know you're there. I always love to hear from y'all. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I am fingers crossed that y'all can hear me. Um, so that is where I start. Now, the next thing that I do is I read the introduction and Sometimes I take notes. So this time I was reading the introduction and I did, I wrote down some quotes. I wrote down some ideas that I liked for myself. And I just make little notes about that. If I need more space, I'll just use another piece of paper and just attach it to it. And then as I'm working through this, this month, I will fill in the rest. So are there any pages and chapters I really want to remember? Um, how, what kind of ideas do I have for using this in my own art? Word supplies, tools that are new to me with definition. So if there's something that's brand new that I didn't know about, I'm going to put that there for myself. And then reflections on this book. Sometimes I can fit it in here. Sometimes I need a whole new piece of paper and I just write it out. But this is just for me to be able to get to remember what this book was about, because in a couple months, if I'm going, oh, I know there was something that I really liked about mandalas, but I can't remember what book it was in. I can page through these in my three ring binder and I can remember, or maybe I go, oh, I wanted to look at this book again. I think, what did I think of that last time? And I can kind of see what I thought of it. So that is how I use the artsy, the artsy guide. Let me see if I can get myself back up here. Whoops, that's how I want it. There we go. And let's take this out. Okay, there we go. So that's how I use the artsy guide. I just fill it in as I go, but I start with um, writing down the title, the author, and really what one chapter project am I most interested in? 
It's not to say I won't explore other stuff throughout the month. It's not to say I won't do more. But what's the one thing if I do nothing else that I really want to focus on? For me, this helps to quiet my mind and it helps me not to feel overwhelmed as I go into this book. My goal is not to get through the whole book from beginning to end. That's not how my brain works. It's not how I operate. Nothing wrong with that. If that's how you approach an art book, fantastic. Like we all have different ways of doing it. The way that I do is I like to dip in and out of them. And I, my interest and in my brain moves really fast. So like Right now, I'm loving the idea of, of this one, Painting the Sacred Within. But by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to be ready for the next one, even if I've only done one chapter. And I'm okay with that. That's just the way that I flow. So however you approach it, I would love to hear in the comments. Are you somebody that starts at the beginning and works your way through every project, every page, every chapter in order? Are you somebody that kind of bounces around within the book, but you pretty much finish everything that's in there? Or are you someone like me who dips in and out, grabs what you need right now, and actually uses it more almost as a reference or as an inspirational guide in that moment, but you're very quick to move on to the next one, even if you're not done. I would love to hear more in the comments. And if you don't have your Artsy Book Club guide yet, whoops, here, there we go, sorry. If you don't have this yet, go ahead and write Artsy Guide in the comments and I will make sure you get that. All right. I look forward to seeing you again to come live. Same time, not same time, same place though. Um, I'll be coming live to share with you the art that I created inspired by this particular book um, and sharing my thoughts on it you know, basically my reflections on it. If you do get this, let me know. I'd love to know who else is playing along with me. And remember to use hashtag artsy book club if you're posting anything online, because I definitely want to see what you have going on. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Love you. Bye-bye.